Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is Angie here. I have a TJ Maxx haul for you guys. And I just went to go watch the Barbie movie, so that's why I'm wearing all pink, my little pink sunglasses. These ones are actually from Dollar Tree. They're like a blush pink, super cute. Don't mind the dirtiness, but yeah. I've been rocking these all day, even though it's nighttime outside. But if you guys haven't watched the Barbie movie, go watch it. It's literally amazing. It has, it's like funny, but then it's also a little sad. It's a little, there's a little scene where I was kind of crying, but yeah. I went to TJ Maxx and I found some really cute stuff. These sunglasses keep falling off. But let's go ahead and get started. So let's see, the first bag, why do I feel like there's another bag somewhere? No, maybe it's just one. Is there? Yes, there is. This one is a Ross bag though. I do have some Ross finds. I think I'm gonna combine it into one TJ Maxx and Ross haul. I have to look for the bag, but let's go ahead and get started because you guys, I found so many cute stuff. So if you guys saw one of my previous hauls, I did find the Hello Kitty one, which is like the larger one with the cotton rounds in it. But I finally found the matching smaller one with the um, cotton swabs. So this is Hello Kitty. And you guys, I'm so mad because I went with my husband and he found the Hello Kitty collab with La Creme and they had the makeup bags. And he told me, get it, get it, get it. And I was like, I don't really need another makeup bag. I already have a lot. And then, I regret not buying it because they were so freaking cute and then when I went back they didn't have them anymore so if you guys run across them grab them but yeah I found this little jar so it can match with the other one I also found these super cute sandals they have a bow on them and they had different colors. They actually had, um, I think, like a nude, nudish kind. But I really liked this one, the white ones, even though they're going to get so dirty. I already know it. But you guys, they are so comfortable. Like, it has like a thick sole on it. And I just love these comfortable sandals. These ones were $19.99. I didn't even tell you guys how much the jar was. So this one was $8.99. But yeah, $19.99. And they're so freaking cute. I also found the lip injection by Too Faced and this is the uh it doesn't say the color in it but I know it's a different color last time I picked up just like the clear one with little holographic glitter in it but this one is like this super cute color it's like a little pinkish tint to it and I kind of want to smell it does it smell like anything Oh, it smells so good. This one smells like cotton candy. I think it's the cotton candy one. Is it? I don't know. It doesn't say. I don't know, but this one smells so good. So this one was $12.99. Let's see what else I got. I found this super, super cute makeup palette. And it's the Ariel one. They had all the Disney princesses. They had um, they had a Belle one. They had a Cinderella one. And they actually had one with the villains in it. But Ariel is my favorite Disney princess. So I picked this one up. And look at it, you guys. Look at the inside of it. Like, those colors are beautiful. And I love the mirror in it. Just like the detailing of it. And even the names. So there's Sand, Wave Maker, Flounder, Sparkle, Sebastian, Dreamer, Flapper, Under the Sea, Ocean Waves, Seashell, Curious, and Mermaid Tail. So I don't even want to use it, you guys, because it's so pretty. But this is $7.99. And it just says, like, it just says it's Disney. So it's not even, like, I guess Disney makes this palette. I guess, I don't know, but I didn't even know they made these palettes, but this is so freaking cute. I also found, this is just really random, but this is a, a magnetic battery. 
and my friend told me that this works really really well so I picked this one up for $14.99 because you guys my phone is always dead my husband gets so mad because my phone is always dying and so I need a backup battery for whenever we go out and then you guys their Halloween stuff is out now and you guys have probably seen all the TikToks but my TV Max doesn't really have much the only cute thing I found is this super cute ghost mug and it's a blush pink this one was $4.99 and I have so many mugs I did not need another one but this one is just I could not resist it's so pretty and I was like I don't have any Halloween ones so yeah this one's super cute we're getting into Halloween season already and I don't know but why do I feel like this year all the Halloween stuff is coming out like super earlier than usual maybe because i feel like summer is just starting because it's been so freaking hot outside but yeah let's go ahead and move on to the next bag Ugh, there's a hair okay so i found this um this face serum and I saw this girl post a TikTok about it. You guys, TikTok influences all my buys. Like, every time I see something on TikTok, like, I go look for it. But I don't know how to pronounce the brand. Like, Ubana? Ubana? I don't know. But this is what it looks like. And she said this was actually a really expensive brand. And I looked it up, you guys, because I was like, no way. Um, but they had this anti-pollution serum. And they also had this gray one which is a brighten maximum glow serum so it's a gray one and it's a blush one these were each $9.99 but when I looked them up they were let me check let me tell you guys because I was like there's no freaking way like how is TJ Maxx selling them for this cheap because they were so expensive and they had quite a lot too um okay so they sell them at Saks Fifth Avenue for $180. $180 and these were $9.99. And this is um for both of them. They're both they both sell them for $180. Um even let's see. I guess there's a green one too. I think I might have seen that one. I'm not sure. Uh it comes in a little green box, but yeah, $180 ebay selling it for $56.95 um there's other websites that i've never heard of but what like how are they how is tj maxx selling it for $9.99 like maybe they just don't recognize the brand honestly i don't know how they base their prices but i want to see the bottle because it looks really cute in the picture Ooh, yeah so definitely looks like a luxury bottle and the top is like a rose gold super pretty and this one is where is it made it doesn't say where it's made oh, it's made in japan so it's japanese skincare but if you guys run across these definitely check them out my freaking glasses keep falling yes but definitely pick them up. I also found the Snail All-in-One Cream. This is the Advanced Snail 92 All-in-One Cream. And you guys have probably seen these all over. These are freaking viral. And I was actually going to buy it at Ulta for full price. And then I saw that they had in there. Um, and this one was $16.99. So it does retail. So this compare at $24, I think. Um, that's how much they go for at Ulta, but $16.99, and my friend told me this was really, really good, and she recommended it. So if you guys come across this brand, everyone has, like, said so many good things about this. And I also found another Too Faced lip injection. This is actually the Maximum Plump, and this was $14.99, so this is Cotton Candy Kisses. I hope it's not the same one as the other one. No. So this one actually has glitter in it. So it's kind of the same color as the other one, but it has little glitter in it. And let's see. Oh, it smells so good. 
It literally smells like cotton candy. Like, I just want to eat it. But, yeah, $14.99 for this one. Let's see what else I got. So, you guys know I've been super obsessed with fragrances, with perfumes. And I don't know why, but I've been super into, like, fresh, clean scents. Um, I usually go for, like, florals and, like, Sweet. I don't like gourmands. I don't like the vanilla, like those really, really sweet, like whipped cream ones. I haven't found one that I like. They're usually very, like, I don't know, they kind of make me, like, sick, like, mempalaga. I don't know how to say it in English, but mempalaga because it's so sweet. So I don't really go for those ones. But I saw, I have never heard of this brand, but I just heard about it and i guess it's very very popular it's the clean reserve brand it's actually the clean brand they have the reserve and the classic the reserve i think is a little more expensive but this is the scent is the skin so it sounds super super weird but it's a floral musk and it says that it's like you can it's basically um you can layer it with other scents it's very very soft um let me look up the notes because i it's just so hard to describe you guys like I smelled it and I was like I blind bought it because I have seen TikToks I've just been looking at TikToks different reviews okay so this is the 1.7 ounce and it retails for $75 and this was on sale for $44.99 at TJ Maxx it's supposed to be inspired by the feeling of a warm embrace so it's creamy Madagascar vanilla and it offers a soft and subtle sweetness to the cozy, close-to-skin musk. So it creates the perfect everyday perfume. That's what it says. The top notes are bergamot, orange blossom, honeysuckle. The middle notes are warm skin accord, vanilla orchid, and sun-kissed pun pun I can never say that word. Puny? 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 I don't know. The dry down is salted praline, fresh musk, and white cedar wood. I smell this and it smells so freaking good like i said i don't usually go for like the sweet vanilla but this one is just like such like you guys if you oh, it smells so good like it smells very familiar like i feel like i've smelled this scent on someone it's like it literally smells like how it's described like when you hug someone and they just give like that warm cozy vibe like that's exactly what this smells like and it's just very soft like very natural but if you guys run across these definitely pick them up i do want to try the warm cotton because like i said in the last video with dollar tree haul i love the smell of like fresh laundry like laundry detergent i love those smells too and i heard that warm cotton like is that scent like it just smells like fresh laundry just came out which, speaking of fresh laundry, I also found the Clean Classic in the scent Soft Laundry. And this is $12. This is actually on sale. And I want to read the notes on it because I know this one is different than the Warm Cotton. So this is the one ounce and it retails for $44. So that's such a good deal for $12. It says it's inspired by the clean, crisp freshness of laundry, dried by the cool spring air and kissed by the sun. Revitalizing notes of pear and bergamot blend with the water accord, creating a sheer, bright breeze. Floral notes of jasmine, water lily, and iris wrapped in amber and musk. And it's just like this, it's just supposed to create like this cozy comfort. The notes are, the top notes are bergamot, marine accord, pear, middle notes are jasmine, water lily, iris, and the dry down is musk, amber, and sandalwood. So I've actually had scents before or fragrances that have those notes in it, um, but just not like how they are all listed in one. Um, and I'm very curious to try it. This was another blind buy. And... I'm so excited to do this. Like, I bought so many perfumes because I've just been into, like, different scent profiles. I'm trying to go out of my comfort zone um, and not get, like, those floral ones that I usually go for. But this is what the bottle looks like. Super cute. And I'm excited to try it. Where should I spray it? 
it smells like oh yeah literally like fresh laundry like I just did my laundry it just finished drying I'm about to go take it out and it's just like that warm like laundry detergent scent that's what it smells like it is oh, it smells so good like if you love the smell of fresh laundry definitely get this it's very like it's not strong at all but like you get a whiff of it like like if I just pulled my clothes out the laundry right now and it's still warm and I put it on that's what it smells like I would definitely recommend this and I was actually looking for a laundry scented uh, perfume for when I go to the gym because I don't like wearing those like perfumes that are really really strong because you know when you work out it's like kind of like your sweat mixes in with it and it just smells even stronger like that's how I feel in my opinion and I don't like it when like girls walk by and they just like poof, like perfume like sweet perfume like perfumes that you should not be wearing at the gym if that makes sense if you're one of those like go girl you do what you do but that's just not what I like but I have been looking for like a clean laundry like something just fresh that I can wear at the gym and I feel like this is the perfect scent. Um, I'm curious to see how it compares to warm cotton. So if I do find it, I really want to get it. And I also heard the, um, there's one that smells like, I think, sweet nectar or something. But that one also people recommend. So I am going to keep a lookout for clean beauty. But yeah, you guys, this is amazing. Okay. So moving on to bras, I did find some Adidas socks and these were $6.99. It comes with three pairs of them and I think these are just good gym socks. I love like the little crew socks for the gym. It has like the patterns on it. This one has a different pattern. So freaking cute. And then this one. For $6.99 it comes with three pairs. Definitely, definitely recommend. I also found this shirt and they just have like a bunch of graphic t-shirts right now this one was $8.99 and I just thought it was so cute it has La Virgen in the back and it just says grow support and watch each other grow it says let's support each other and watch each other grow so I thought that was super cute and honestly I just wanted it for the gym um, I like just getting random little t-shirts like this to wear. I like them to be kind of long and loose for when I go to the gym. So $8.99, such a good price for this. I also found these Under Armour shorts and they were $12.99. I thought these were just like nice to be in the house. Under Armour, it's a good brand. So it's been super hot these last couple days. And I just needed some shorts to be around the house. I also found this Michaela and Glam White pressed highlighter, which I had been wanting to try the collab before. But, and I had heard people finding like even the palettes. I have not found the palettes. This is the only item that I found. But I am so excited. It's such a pretty color. This is what it looks like. So pretty. I am so excited to try it. And this one was only $4.99. I also found this pot of rose gold. It's a shimmer body cream. And this is by the Beekman 1802. Their products are actually really expensive. It says it retails for $24. I think honestly it's more than that. But this one was $8.99. And this is what it looks like. It is so freaking pretty it all settled to the side but it's this rose shimmery gold and you oh it's still closed i'm glad it's closed this one was actually like not in one of those boxes so i was kind of scared that people were gonna like dig into it but it's supposed to give like this shimmer it's so freaking pretty i don't know i don't think the camera is gonna catch it but i think this is so cute for the summer if you're going to the beach if you're like i feel like it'll be so nice if you have a nice like sun-kissed tan because it's just like the sun the light hits it and it's like this little tiny hint of shimmer like reflection so this was 
$7.99. So cute. Okay, now for like the freaking exciting part. I found this Midnight Fantasy by Britney Spears for $9.99. You guys, I like, I've been picking up perfumes. And I have seen this on TikTok because, you know, like, this reminds me of high school. I used to wear The Curious by Britney Spears, and I freaking love that. And people are, like, getting back onto, like, those old book, oldies but goodies. And this one, people were saying this one was really, really good. And so I'm just, like, curious to try it because I don't think I have ever smelled it. And let's see. I'm going to spray it on here because I have so many different scents on me right now. This this is not something I would go for. Like I said, I don't like the sweet gourmand, like candy fragrances. But this one, this one smells like freaking like gummy worms, like gummy bears. I know it has cherry notes in it. I smell this like sour cherry note. I wish like these fragrances had their notes on the boxes, but I hate that they don't. But yeah, it smells like cherry. It smells like... I don't know it smells like candy but it's like not overly like sweet like there's like some like kind of floral sense to it too this one is so it smells so freaking good oh, definitely recommend like look at the bottle the bottle is so cute too yeah this one's good for ten dollars heck yeah and I, you guys i freaking screamed when I found this, the Ariana Grande, God is a Woman, You, I always find cloud um, sweet like candy and which one? Thank you next. And it just sounds like it smells so freaking delicious. Look at the bottle. It's so freaking cute. And let me go ahead and spray it. I took it out because... I don't even want to get rid of the box. Like, I love the box. I definitely, right off the bat, I smell the, I smell the pear. Um, let's see what it has. I smell more of the pear, but like, once it dries down, I smell that rose petal. I don't, I smell kind of the vanilla, but not really. Okay, the dry down is definitely way better. It's definitely a musky smell. Like once it dries down, floral musky. That's what I that's what I get. Yeah. I get more floral musky than fruity. When you first spray it, it smells like pear. Like straight up pear. But once it dries down, you get that muskiness. You get the rose. And it smells so good. I feel like this is more like my scent profile that I usually go for. definitely recommend it is not like her other scents at all like this is nothing like cloud like thank you next i have those two and this one is just like different but this one's very very like sexy like more mature oh, i love it i love it definitely worth 36 dollars. i also forgot that i had a another bag with marshall stuff and for marshall's i got this nivea cocoa butter body cream and this was $6.99. I think I've hauled this before, but I use this when I get out the shower because it doesn't have like a strong scent to it and it's super moisturizing. I'm trying to smell it when it has its clothes. Um, it has kind of like a lightweight cocoa butter smell, but this is definitely moisturizing. I love it. And I just ran out of it. And I found more Hello Kitty stuff at Marshall. So I found this one. This one was $8.99. And I thought this was super cute for when I do my makeup and it has like a little ear. And it has the freaking little bow. Like, how cute is that? So freaking cute. I also found this uh, nail file set. And it's by La Creme Shop. And it's Hello Kitty as well. This was $5.99. I thought this was so freaking cute. My nails are always breaking, you guys. Like, I don't know if I need to take vitamins or something. Because my freaking nails are always breaking all the time. So I need to carry one in my purse. And then the last item I found was this... Kapari, I think that's how you say it, Kapari? Kapari? I don't know, but it was $9.99, it's compared to $17, I actually think it's like $20 on Ulta because I looked it up. You guys, every time I go, I always compare prices to like 
other websites to make sure I get a deal. Um, but this is the Tripeptide Lip Cloud and it just looks like so like cloudy and milky and delicious. And it's supposed to be like super moisturizing for your lips. It's a lip oil. It's supposed to be super like moisturizing and it's um, it has like a little bit of a gloss. So yeah, it's a two-in-one lip oil. It's formulated to be a treatment and a gloss. Um, it says light as air minty formula. So I'm guessing it has like a little mint like yeah, it smells like mint, so it probably has like a little plumping effect, but I just like the milkiness and like the way it looked, so I feel like it's just going to make your lips look juicy. Um, but yeah, that is it, you guys. That is everything. So much. I have more perfumes coming because, yeah, I've been like on a perfume rage, you guys. I don't know. TikTok. TikTok always gets me. If you guys on the, are on perfume TikTok let me know because yeah these scents are insane but i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i wish you guys can like be here right now and smell like everything in the room right now it just smells like delicious it smells like floral fresh like so many scents going on right now so good the, i think my favorite one has to be the the one that smells like skin if you guys like it's nothing like i've ever smelled before the king reserve skin but I definitely recommend this one. Like, it's just insane. Like, you guys have to smell it. Go to Sephora. I think Sephora has, like, samples of it. Smell them. Like, you guys have to know what I'm talking about. Because it's just, like, oh, I love it. I love it. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel. See you guys next time. Bye.